at nearly every feast of the Theotokos of our Panagia, we hear in the gospel reading the story of how our Lord visited the home of Mary and Martha. And we know in this gospel reading that Martha, she was anxious. She was doing all that she could to prepare the house for the Lord. And Mary, it says, simply sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his word. And after a while, Martha becomes upset and she goes to the Lord. Our Lord replies to her so beautifully, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful. And Mary has chosen the better part. With all that's going on in the world, it's easy for us to become worried and troubled about many things and to lose sight of the one thing needful. And as Mary has shown us, the one thing needful is to sit at the feet of the Lord and listen to his word. And my friends, wherever we find ourselves, there's nothing, nothing that can prevent us from doing just that. So take this time, this abundance of time that has been given to us and listen to the word of our Lord. Open the Bible, read the scriptures where he will speak to us. Find moments of silence where we can hear his still small voice and know that wherever we call upon him, that he by the Holy Spirit is present and we can sit at his feet Many of you are perhaps thinking we have a lot of things to be worried about, Father. Indeed we do. But more importantly, we have hope. Our hope who is so beautifully presented to us in this icon of our Panagia. If you're worried about illness, she is a healer. If you're worried that you've wasted this life, that you haven't lived it as you should, we have her as an intercessor. And if, for some reason, through this illness, God calls us to him, we have a queen in heaven who will be our advocate. So my friends, we have so much to hope for. We have so much joy because our Theotokos, just as our Lord is present here, and we too can sit at her feet as our Lord once did. May Christ our God ever listen to the intercessions of his mother and grant to you all his great mercy.